Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP list tutorial for beginners and this is our part 4. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we implement hidden and sortable functions of WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about part number 4. And also guys, about the existing code, we have uploaded all the code to this GitHub link. You can download all the code from this link. So basically guys, if this is your first video session then I strongly suggest you to watch our previous video sessions from this playlist to get the clear concept. Okay. So about the coding sections guys, this is the code uploaded this GitHub link. Okay. So just back to administrator panel. So now this is the plugin that we have made called OWT list table where we did three columns called ID, name and the email section. This is dummy data. This is not coming from database now. Okay. So this is the simple table that we have developed so far. So if we go to editor, this is the plugin that we have made. Okay, where we have called a PHP file called OWT table list dot PHP by the help of PHP buffer. Okay. So this is the file that we have called. This is the class file guys where we have developed our WP list table. Okay. So along with these functionality guys, we are going to add some of the new features of WP list table called hidden columns as well as sortable columns. Okay. So just back to prepare items method. Inside these method guys, we are going to define two another methods called hidden. Okay. So basically it will call called get hidden columns okay so basically this is method we are going to define inside this class so we need to call by the help of this instance okay and the next function that we have to define called sortable okay so let's say sortable equal to this these are the functions that we have to define so far we haven't defined that okay so this is get sortable functions sorry columns okay so these are the two functions that we have defined. So just I'm going to copy and let's define here. So let's say public function and this is the function. Okay. So just going to define. And now the next function is get sortable columns. Okay. So let's say public function and this is the function name. Okay. So right now we have actually defined the two functions, but now we didn't code for that. So basically guys, the two functions, what are the purpose of these two functions? Basically the get hidden columns basically is used to hide the columns. Means we have three columns right now, ID name and the email. Suppose we want to hide this email column. We no want to, means we don't want to see this column to WP list table. So how can we hide this column? Okay. So basically to hide this column, we have to pass the email section, the key that we have defined called email. Okay. So this is the key that we have defined. We have to pass right here. Let's say that return array and let's say email. Okay. So if we save that, if we refresh, the column is not hidden. Why? So just go up inside this array, the columns we have passed are the column headers. We have to pass these parameters inside this array. Okay. So just copy hidden and passed right here. So if we save that, go to browser, reload this page. As we can see that the email does not exist because we have made it a hidden column. Okay. So basically the columns we want to hide from WP list table, we have to pass all the columns comma separated inside this array. Okay. And that actually hidden columns will be passed inside this columns header. Okay. So this is the purpose of hidden columns. Suppose if we want to add something new column inside this data, so let's that designation. Okay. So let's designation be basically it is a PHP developer. Just I'm going to copy this key pass inside that also pass inside this and pass this okay so let's say react angular let's say wordpress okay so we have added one more column called designation first of all we have to pass that key right inside gate columns okay so let's say that this is the key designation and this is column header designation and also we have to pass call column default okay so let's say case designation okay so if we save that refresh this page so this is the designation that we have made okay so if suppose we remove the columns from hidden if we just make comment of that load this page 
and now this is the email section okay suppose we want to hide called ID section or name section okay so just we have to pass inside this array called ID this is the key called ID and now we have to hide name also okay so this is the comma separated values of array so if we refresh that name and ID has gone okay so this is the basic use of hidden columns now let's see about the sortable columns okay so basically the sortable means guys that a tabular column or column should be something called ascending or descending order on click on that okay so if we go to administrator panel just open up post dot post page and now this is also a WP list table we can see that our title and the diet date section if we click on title section right now URL has no query string okay just I'm going to click on that you can see that order by title and this is order ascending order it means that title has been now sorted into ascending order okay just I want to click again title is now sorted in descending order so this is known as a sortable columns okay so this is the features we want to implement to our custom WP list table okay so just back to editor and now inside this get sortable functions we want to code from that okay so basically this is the variable we have to pass right here okay so now let's start doing some coding inside this get sortable functions okay so let's return array inside this array we have to pass some parameters okay so we want to make sortable columns if we refresh that just I'm going to comment these sections all columns are visible now okay so we want to make email section or name section as sortable okay so we want to implement that feature inside name and the email section okay so just go inside this array and let's say that we want to make name section a sortable column okay so name section we have to pass array and let's say name we have to pass two values either true or false so by default all the columns should be in ascending order this actually feature provided by WordPress itself okay means all the columns values has been in ascending order okay so we want to make in descending order okay so let's pass here called true value instead of true first let's pass called the false value okay so basically we have made name column as sortable if you want to make email section just write let's see that email this is the key that we have defined here and now this is email also okay so right now these data actually should be in ascending order because we have not actually passed through here okay so if you suppose change false from true then it will actually descending order by default okay so if we save that go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that the name section and the email section has been changed to ascending order or descending order means these two columns are sortable now okay so just I'm going to click on name section as we can see that order by name and this is order called descending order okay so if I copy this URL go to slides open up new slide and this is the URL called order by name and the order equal to ascending order okay again I'm going to click on the email section so as we can see that order by email and order should be in ascending order okay so this is called order by okay order by email order by name okay so these are the features of sortable function okay so just back to editor suppose if we pass to true value okay if we same it is false also okay so this column should be in descending order if we click on the icon otherwise this value return into ascending order okay so just back to browser reload this page if I click on name section so if I copy this URL go to slides paste here so this is now descending order so these all features of sortable call ascending order and descending order totally depends upon the boolean value that we have passed basically if you didn't pass or if you have not passed any value inside this parameter then by default it will be in ascending order first okay so if we click on icon it will accordingly work okay so if suppose we have passed true value here it means that when we click on the column it will be in descending order otherwise it will be in ascending order okay so this is the sortable functions but right now we can see that if we click on any of the icon our columns does not sorted because we have to code for that we have to make these data sortable because WP is table for these post sections handled by WordPress itself but this is our custom table so all the features we have to do from our coding so just back to editor and now as we know that by clicking on these name and email sections we are getting two query string parameters first of all order by and second is order so we have to retrieve all these parameters 
to our method called prepare items okay and we have to pass all these parameters to our this data okay so basically for that let's make this data variable by the help of a method so that we can implement the sortable functions also okay so let's see that public function wp listable data okay this is another method that we have made in our own custom class okay so let's pass all the data variable inside this method and return this data okay so let's return data okay so to use these data we have to call this method so just go up within this these items let's say this and this is the method okay so if we save that reload this page it's working as it is okay now next we have to retrieve all these parameters of query string okay so just i'm going to copy order by back to editor and let's say that order by if the get request is it set okay so basically we want to retrieve that value from our query string okay so basically let's stream that first okay and now another parameter we have to retrieve called order okay this decide our data should be in ascending order or descending order okay so let's order it set let's say get let's say order just i'm going to copy this and let's say trim trim basically function is used to remove the extra parameters or the extra spaces from our values okay so just let's say that so these are the two parameters guys successfully we have retrieved from our query string okay so just pass these values to our wp list table why we are passing inside this method because this method actually return the data set okay so we have to make all descending order and ascending order inside this data okay so just go up and let's say order by and the second parameter let's say order okay so these are the two parameters guys that we have passed inside this function okay inside this method so successfully we have to retrieve that so let's say that order by and define with a null value also why we have defined with an empty value because in case if there is no query string parameter suppose at this situation okay here we have no query string okay so how can we call this function how can we call this method because inside this method we have to pass those parameters okay so in that case actually it will pick the empty value okay so next we have we have to pass called the order okay so it should also be empty value okay so this is called the default initialization of method parameters okay or function parameters so if suppose order by let's say that if order by equal to equal to email okay let's suppose we want to implement the sortable functions only for the email section or for the name section okay so just i'm going to remove that reload this page and now name section is already in sortable function so just back to editor so basically guys we have static data okay so right now if suppose we will pick in our upcoming videos about the sql queries from our dynamic data from wp database so in that case actually we will use called order by clause in our sql queries but right now there is no sql queries for retrieving these data because these data are static okay so let's say that if order by name and let's say that and order equal to let's say ascending order okay so basically if the order should be in ascending order so we have to pass all these parameters as it is okay else let's say that else just make copy if order by name and the order should be called descending order okay so in that case we have to actually make let's say that in ascending order let's say um one first okay because a alphabetic appears should first okay so let's say that instead let's say gopal just want to copy paste here rohit and let's say sanjay okay so this is an ascending order because name should be in ascending order and remember guys we are not using right now sql queries so we have to actually make the those data in ascending order and descending order manually okay so in upcoming video suppose we make any sql queries so by the help of order by we can put our sql queries too okay so we will see these concept also in our upcoming videos so how can we retrieve those data from our wp database we will see in our upcoming videos okay so this is right now the name is ascending order okay so by getting these parameters called name order by name and descending order we have to push these data and now let's say that sanjay first 
let's say Rohit Gopal and let's say that Aman okay and also according to the name we have to change the email also okay so let's say that first of all let's say for Aman this is for Gopal this is for Rohit and finally this is for Sanjay okay so right now here we have to change also so Sanjay it's not Aman let's say Rohit this is for Gopal and this is for Aman okay so this is the manually actually manipulation of these datas okay so if suppose we have no query string parameters okay so right now no data is coming why because all these datas we have made under conditional statements okay so first of all we have to retrieve all these datas and in else condition we have to pass that means we when we have no data then by default these data should appear okay so just I'm going to reload this page so this is the data okay so by default it will, it will be in ascending order as name email and the same section okay so this is name and email so right now only sortable function is appearing inside this name column okay so just back to editor so let's make so this is data in ascending order by default okay so let's say that we have to pass the true value we have to pass the true value here okay so by clicking on this name section the data should be in descending order okay so just back to editor reload this page once more so if I click on name section as we can see that our data is appearing right now in descending order again clicking on name section this data is now converted into ascending order again clicking on that descending order so this is changing by the help of these conditional statements that we have made inside WP listable data okay so this is called the sortable functions basically guys WordPress provides all the default behavior of these sortable functions for our these submenus okay so if we want to implement any of the WP list table to our custom WordPress setup so we want to make all these functionality by own okay so basically in our upcoming videos guys we will see this concept too by the help of SQL queries okay so right now actually we are learning by the help of a static data so we have to make manually these data are either in descending order and ascending order okay so basically guys in this video session we learn about the two methods of WP list table called get hidden columns and get sortable columns basically get hidden columns is used to hide the columns from WP list table and get sortable columns basically used to make any of the sort column should be in ascending order or descending order means the sortable behavior okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible Okay, so for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.